Hey crafty friends, I'm Nat Kessler here. Thank you very much for joining me to Saturday Mix Travaganza. And today I'm starting a new art journal. I have a new Dilutions art journal. It's a really good one. It has thick pages and a rubber band that closes the art journal, uh, secures it, and I'm really excited to start it and go on that journey for to create art journal pages. So I'm just putting some scrap paper. Don't want the other pages to get wet or painted. And as usual, I'm starting with covering my pages with some gesso. Gesso is always recommended. You already know that. This prevents the page from absorbing all the wet mediums that we're going to put on it later on. So once you're done with the covering the pages, just dry it thoroughly with your heat tool. Now I'm going to use some acrylic paints in blue or teal uh, shades. And I'm going to use them to add color to my page. Now this one got a little bit dry. It happens sometimes with acrylic paints, especially when you live in a hot country like I do. So I'm just using a popsicle stick to help me take out the paint. So I'm using this sponge and I'm just wetting it slightly with my fingers. And what I'm going to do is apply the color in circular motions. Um, and you're gonna understand why in just a minute. So I'm starting with the light color and working my way to the bolder, darker colors. And I'm not cleaning my sponge in between. And I don't care. It's I don't care if the colors blend. Actually, this is what I wanna do. I'm just wetting it a little bit more just squeezing it on the paper to get rid of the excess paint and then I'm moving on to the next paint and this is the first layer that I'm going to do and later on I'm going to add more and more layers with the same colors one on top of the other blending them together now at this point I'm wetting the sponge thoroughly because now I want to start blending the colors together. So I need the foam, the, the, the sponge, to be a little bit more wet. Otherwise, the acrylic paints will not blend. Now, something very important to know about acrylic paints and water. Some people like to dilute them with water to get this wash effect. And this is a mistake. Acrylic paints are basically pigment and a binding agent. Now when you add too much water, just wetting the page slightly here to help me blend the colors better. Now when you add too much water to acrylic paints, what happens is that the binding agent of the paint is also diluted and that will result in well, the possibility of the paint not sticking to the surface that you put it on. Namely, it's going to peel off. So if you want a wash um, effect on your page using acrylic paints, then you better dilute it with something like a gel medium or another acrylic diluter that is especially for acrylic paints that will not dilute the binding agent, only the pigment. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting a little bit paint, uh, more paint, just very a, a tiny dot on my sponge with my finger because I want just a very subtle effect of extra color. I don't want to dip my sponge in there. So I'm going to dry this. Is and, and as you can see, you have here all the paints diluted together, not diluted, sorry, blended together um, in a very, you can still see all of them, but they're all blended. 
So I've wetted my finger a little bit and I have uh, some gesso here that I'm applying again in a circular motion on my art journal page with my finger and I think you can start to understand the theme of this page. So what we have created until now are the skies and now we are creating the clouds. And the reason I'm doing this with my finger and not with my sponge is first of all it is too wet and second of all I have more control with my finger and I need the little circles as well the sponge is too large for this so this way I can get the exact shape that I need so you just use your finger in a circular motion to add the gesso to your page in a shape cloud so I'm just adding more and more and if you want the clouds to be wider you should dry this gesso first and then add more because if you draw if you add wet gesso on wet gesso you will not get the layered effect that you want it will just push the other gesso that you have already on the page so dry it first and then add another layer if you want to so I'm adding some more gesso to my white clouds coming on nicely I really like the effect and all the circular motion that we did to apply the acrylic paints resembles the sky it's not just flat color it gave it so much dimension so I have here some chipboard wings which I'm applying gel medium on because I want to add mica flakes now mica flakes are sort of um, plastic little pieces of um, plastic <laughs> and they come in different colors and they're very shiny and I'm adding them on my wings see how they look because um, I want to mimic the effect of real wings with feathers so it's very shiny and I've done the first layer and now after it's dry I'm removing the excess flakes and I'm applying a second layer so it, again it will be as realistic as possible because you know even on a real wing you have so many feathers on feathers on feathers so this way will get it to be very realistic and I'm drying that you need to make sure it's dry the gel medium needs to dry and this is how it looks see how shiny that is and now I'm going to stamp my sentiment or my sentence or my inspiration see this is the elastic band I'm going to stamp it with some um, black ink on my page. Now I won't, I've cut this part because it's really boring to see me arranging all my letters on the acrylic block. So I've just moved it forward. Because these are small letters, you need to arrange them one by one. So this is the first part, which will say, don't make me. It's going to go here on this side. And then the other part of the sentence is going to be, when I, I had to do it in two parts because I needed the W and there's only one W. So I did it in two parts, when I want to so this is part of the sentence and I'm going to complete the stand sentence with some chipboard letters that I have here that I'm going to color with the same black ink actually it's distress ink by the way and 
once they're all colored I can add the words to my page so don't make me walk when I want to fly isn't that a great sentence I really like it so true so very true now for the word fly first I just want to add a little bit of dimension and definition to my wings with a little bit of black distress ink on the edges and I'm gonna cut the wings because I want two separate wings and then I'm going to add the word fly and since I want to add the wings on both sides of the word I need to have enough room so I'm going to put the letters very close together like so and then add my wings somebody once told me how do you keep your fingers so clean when you and your nails so clean when you work where well, you can see that my fingers and my nails are very dirty so I just wash my hand later now I want to add the Sun so I'm using some yellow gelatos and my finger make sure at this point since your fingers will probably be dirty like mine wash your hands or at least the finger that you're working on because if you're gonna use the finger to um, apply the gelatos like I do and your fingers is going to have black on it or whatever other color then the yellow will get muddy brown and dirty so if you want the yellow to stay yellow you need a clean finger so I'm using two shades of yellow and I'm adding the rays of the Sun very um, subtle rays because I just want the glow there I don't want the rays to be very visible I just want the yellow glow of the Sun to be there so you see there's a glow but it's subtle it's not too too bright so I like this page it didn't take long to create it and I think the effect is really good and striking and beautiful and I love the sentence so I'm really happy with my first page in my new art journal I love this art journal it, it it's really as good as everybody said it is so I want to thank everyone for joining me on this video tutorial I think just a little bit more here and there a little bit more glow and the page will be done I like it so thank you very much for joining me look at all the texture that we created with the circular motion with the acrylic paints that's what we wanted that's I wanted the sky not to be very flat and boring so this way we have the texture that we need so thank you very much for joining me. I hope you were inspired and had as much fun as I did. Please hit that subscribe button and share this video so everybody can enjoy these video tutorials. And look at my fingers. See they're not clean at all. Just going to wash my hands. Thank you very much for joining me and watching. See you next time.